Hello everybody, one classy crooks here, and we are back with Banjo Tooie and Isle of Hags Jinjo Village. So let's head inside a house and see one of our loving, adored characters from the first game, the Jinjos. But they're all gone. They're all gone. Come and see me in my throne room, and I'll tell you what happened. So as we could tell by him telling us, nonetheless, all the Jinjos have been gone. Here is King Jinjo. It was a palace. This is my palace. Not bad, huh? Just come on in and see the Jinkster. Yeah, he's kind of like a gangster. He lives in a solid gold house. The biggest of all the Jinjos. I mean, come on. So, well, with that, we have a task at hand. Let's go visit King Jing... Uh, no. Whoops. Said the wrong name. You didn't hear that. You didn't hear a spoiler too later in the game. <laughs> oh, yes. Alright, so, let's head on inside. See what's up with this gangster. This is King Jingalang's throne room. Yes, with that he gives us a jiggy, basically saying, here is a jiggy to go get my people back. King Dingling. Yes, we call him King Dingling and he shows us the way. Anyway, to reiterate on what King Jingling, or Dingling, as Banjo says, was saying, there's a kickball tournament that he must have his people attend. Otherwise, there'll be trouble between the uh, J King Jingling and the mole people, which, you know, was Bottles and his family, which is pretty much the only hit the mole people we get besides Bottles' brother. But, uh, We'll get into that much later once we meet him. <laughs> that Jimmy Wiggy then. Yes. <laughs> Jimmy Wiggy. I like how King Dingling said that he likes to quiet. He would rather his people be gone. But thanks to the pride of a game, he would rather not have that. Yeah, very interesting, right? He wants to kill them all. Anyway, here's a hint to future levels. That is... Well, I think they'll explain it. Real quick, if you couldn't tell, I'm alternating in videos until I get feedback. I'll be reading one video and then being silent during the next, during cutscenes. So, shut up, crooks! Annoying your running is, so stop it or we will not tell. <laughs> if I must. I like how she's depressed about that. Oh, my God. 
these little pets just a pair of eyes now. Anyway, if you notice, uh... Shit. Yes, and with that, King Dingaling was turned into a zombie, which I'm actually going to go show off real quick, just because I always thought it was pretty cool as a kid. <coughs> Excuse me about that. Oh, yes. He will actually try and attack you if you get near him. As you can see, he just wanders around, but if I wander into his detection zone, ooh, he will turn around. Yep, see, he's trying to turn around and get to us now, but he's pretty slow. He doesn't really hurt. Now, if you notice, I hear Terry's wife left him recently, so his little uns are all he has left. So his little uns are all he has left. He's very protective. <laughs> he'll random out. He'll, he'll spat out random BS. I'm not going to sit here and read it all. But if you notice, Gruntilda called him a traitor, implying that they were on the same side at one point in time. Damn it. Okay, so with that, we aren't going to explore much more of this area. Uh, we're just going to go straight to Bottle's house. There's a few little things I want to show off there, too. Pretty nifty. Uh, we're going to grab some... Ooh. Invincible flowers, because I wasted one. I think I can only hold up to ten at the moment. I forget if I get upgrades. So let's go talk to his wife, Miss Bo... Keep quiet, because you... I'm sure he'll be back soon, Miss B. Alright, so if we explore around the house, her bedroom actually has a monster in it for some reason. I guess it's keeping company while the old man's gone. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, that is wrong. Very, very wrong. But there are a few things to collect. Mainly, I just wanted those feathers. There's some help if you need it, but I honestly don't think you will. I mean, if that one monster... What am I saying if that one monster can damage you? That one monster pummeled me in the last video. Oh, we aren't going that way. Though. Let's go talk to the little girl. His little daughter. Yes, Bottles has a full family. Now, this is kind of interesting. These posters on uh, the wall, that one is actually a real game made by Nintendo. I don't remember what it's called, though. And she's holding a DK uh, doll. <laughs> Very obviously Donkey Kong. I'll give you these prototype glasses he's working on. Did he finish working on them by any chance? Oh yes, I believe they're called the Amazo Gaze glasses. How do they work? Well, when Banjo's eyes view, use uh, the C-pad to zoom in and out. This will become very useful. I'll go ahead and show it off here. You can zoom out and zoom way in to pixelate everything. Oh, good old 16-bit. Gotta love it. Alright, now we can go and talk to his son, and then finally head out of here. I believe there's a poster in here of a game, too. Yeah, I believe it's the same game. Uh, as you, if you can see, it's actually written in Japanese, I think. Or, if it's not, it's just pixelated. Somebody can clarify, I'm sure, in the comments. That'd be amazing. Hey there, Banjo. Hi, spe spe Specky. Uh, Specky, yeah. Me and my dad are going to play in the kickball tournament next week over at the Mayan Stadium. King Jingling has organized it, especially for my dad, since he's such a hero. Uh, I don't suppose you have any substitutes? Why would we need a substitute? My dad is the best on the team. I'm sure he was. Er, is. And did you know the tunnel over there is my secret way out of the village? You may find it useful. We already know that. King Dingling is a personal friend of ours. He opened it up, especially for us. Nice. Yeah, oh no, I wasted another feather. God, I'm going to do that a lot throughout this series. 
Oh, and at the end of the series, once we finally do beat the game, guys, I am going to be pulling all of the deleted scenes from my footage and put them all into a blooper reel. So that way you guys can see me fail and fail and fail and fail. I always love the way that King, uh, J the King Jiggy, oh no, talk. I don't know why, but just as a kid, that, that voice always amused me. So let's go over here and activate a silo. Now before we head over to the temple, we're actually going to head back here into this digger hole, which is actually a dead end, but there is something back here that we need. Go ahead and take care of that enemy. There's a Jinjo, the first of his kind that we have seen in the game. One out of nine, Black Jinjo. Hippie, you saved me. I'm off for home now, and they fly magically home, because they were all scared away by the digger. Um, all the Jinjo colors, I should mention, are co totally randomized. Like, I just found a black Jinjo. That Jinjo has been white, red, blue, yellow. I I've actually played this game so much that I think it's cycled through all the colors at least twice. But Jinjos are all randomized in color. So for the sake of organization, we'll call him Jinjo1. <laughs> That's pretty much the easiest way we can do. So, now we're going to go back up to the Golden Temple. I think that's what it's called anyways, Golden Temple. We're about to find out. He does have a door guard. I am the lowly I am a lowly disciple of Jiggy Wiggy. I work at the door of his scared temple to keep out those who are not the wealthy. Sounds like fun. Do you think we are worthy? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to throw like kind of an Italiano accent into there. That's just kind of me. <laughs> And if I'm being a little bit quiet this episode, I do apologize for that. I'm actually currently on vacation right now at my dad's place. I'm not going to go into cities or anything on where they live, but let's just say I'm in Nevada right now, and I live in Oklahoma. <laughs> and i got to be quiet because this ain't my house, and he's sleeping. But we're not going to get into that. Anyway, after talking to him, he told us that we have enough jiggies to get in. <laughs> Peace. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw that in the text, but it said, Be sure to per purchase your beverages and drinks, uh, beverages and food at McJiggy's. No McDonald's reference there. Anyway, guys, that's all the time we have for this video. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and head inside to the Golden Temple. There's one classy crooks. If you like this video, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Crooks out.